Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chris here, founder and CEO of Trademasters. So today we're going to look at a small cap industry once again. The name of the industry is called as United Drilling Tools. And as the name suggests, this is a company that, uh, you know, builds uh, drilling related equipments. It manufactures drilling related equipments and is one of India's leaders manufacturer of those products. So it is a small cap industry with a market capitalization of 523 crores. And if you look at the fundamentals of this company, it is really good. There is nothing wrong on that particular perspective. So just I want to show you a brief of the business model of this particular company. So United Drilling Tools is actually the number one leading manufacturer of oil and drilling related equipments in the country. So it is a leading uh, producer of oil and drilling related equipments in India and as of now they have almost 70 percentage share in the drilling tools and equipments so overall uh, if a company has more than 50 percentage shares we call that particular company as a monopoly in that particular segment so for the for the oil and drilling equipments United Drilling Tools plays a monopoly it commands over 70 percentage of the market value in India and it is uh, only manufacturer in India that has API API means American Petroleum Institute and they have got their approval for their uh, manufactured products. So it is the only uh, manufacturer in India that has the approval of API, right? And apart from that, uh, the business segments is uh, these guys have almost uh, four types of business segments. So one is a uh, casting pipe with connectors and wireless winches, gas lift equipments and stabilizer. And if you look up the revenue split up, almost 98% of the revenue is coming from domestic and 2% is coming from exports, that is sales from uh, abroad countries. And as of order book, these guys have almost 80 crores of domestic value order for the next uh, 2021. And for the company has proposed bid orders for almost 100 crores for March 2022. So it has generated almost 180 crores worth of orders in the just the last two years of 2021 and 2022. Right. And as soon for the manufacturing facility, they have two manufacturing facilities located in Noida and one in Kutch. And they have recently opened a manufacturing plant in Muntra, Gujarat as well. So overall, if you look at the fundamentals of this company, it is really good. And uh, the business model of this particular company is also good. And uh, if you look at the sh market share, that is, uh, these guys play a monopoly. They have almost 70% uh, you know, holding in the oil and drilling equipments. And if you look at the is customer, so these are the customers of United Drilling Tools. So first is ONGC, Oil and Natural Gas Drilling Corporation, and uh, Jindal Wellspun Oil India. So all of these are majorly taken so ONGC and sorry, so ONGC and Oil India basically you governed by the government of India. So these guys are uh, you know providing its equipments for the government of India, undertaking projects as well, and as well as the Jindal Wellspun, INA, Power Development, Owens, Kumber as well. So overall, these guys have a huge variety of clientele and the you know a monopoly segment in that particular area as well. So from overall the business model, I believe it's a really good stock to hold, and since this is a small cap industry which recently got listed into its uh, IPO. I believe this co particular company has a good potential to grow into a mid-cap industry very soon. Not in the very soon, maybe in the next uh, three to four years or five years as well. Okay, so this is on the business model. And if you look, if you look at the quarterly results of uh, United Drilling Tools, the company is generating consistent profits. And uh, you know this is a profit and loss ratio for the last 10 quarters. And if you look over here, the sales has been consistent. It has uh, varying between 25 to 40, but it has been consistent around this particular uh, period. And it has generating consistent profits as well for the last 10 quarters. And this is a profit and loss statement for the last 10 years. If you look over here, the profit has been consistently increasing and uh, the sales also has been consistently increasing for the past 10 years as well. So there is nothing wrong on the fundamental perspective or in the balance sheet of this particular company. And if you look at the prop, uh, compounded sales growth, the sales has been increasing at a comp standard rate of 10% for the last uh, 10 years. That is the average rate. And profit growth has been increasing at 27% standard for the last 10 years and CAG has 41 and the return on equity is 18%. Now, coming to the balance sheet, the most important thing we need to look over here is whether the company is having any standing debts or not. So as on March 2023, the company is having 5 crores as debts, but it is only 5 crores and this can, is safe to say that it is a, uh, you know, a debt free company. So 5 crores, we can uh, uh, neglect it. And even among those 5 crores, you can see that it is actually 4.93 crores in short term borrowings. Maybe even in the next uh, Two to three quarters, we can expect the short term borrowings also to be repaid and the company can be 100% debt free. So I'm super bullish in this particular uh, script for the coming few weeks. 
and let's look at the final share holding pattern of uh, Netto Drilling Tools. So the promoters are holding 74.65 percentage shares, and it has not deviated for the last 10 quarters. So this is one important thing we need to know: the promoters have not sold off or they have not pledged their shares for the last 10 quarters. This is the most important point. Where, well, this is the most important point when investors. If they are planning to invest in a stock for a short term or long term period, they have to look into the promoters holding as well. If the promoters are consistently, you know, buying and selling their shares, it is uh, showing a sort of weakness in the management. So over here, the management is really strong. They are not backing out and they are not selling or they are not pledging their shares as well. And as in for the FIS and DIS, they are holding very negligible quantities and United Drilling Tools. So as such, it is going to be a slow moving stock. But at the same time, it is going to follow the technical pattern that is formed. And I believe it's a good pattern. It's a good stock to hold for a short term investment. So this is on the overall fundamental perspective. And I believe it's a good stock to hold for a short term period. That is a green signal for uh, buy side from our analysis. So now let's get into the technical chart. So this is a daily time frame chart, what I'm showing over here. Let's skip into a weekly time frame. So this is a weekly time frame chart what I'm showing over here. And if you look at the price from its high, the stock has almost fallen down by close to 72 percentage. So it is, I consider this as a very much discounted price for buying uh, you know, United Trading Tools because uh, I believe on a long term perspective, this stock can go beyond 600 rupees. That is, it can touch its previous high and it can go beyond it's all time high as well so that is the potential i see in this particular stock for a long term perspective but we are not prepared to hold this particular stock on a long term period so we're just going to use this particular opportunity or a pattern that is formed in this particular stock for a short term investment so let's say within a period of six months i'm expecting returns of almost 70 percentage right so let's look at that analysis so I'm switching over to a daily time frame and the first thing what we need to look over here is is to plot the support and resistance so I see a good level of resistance over here, right? So I'm marking this resistance in red. So this was a previous line of resistance and the stock was consolidating over here, forming this resistance. And as on last week, that is Wednesday, 6th of September, we have a clear cut breakout. So this was a strong level of breakout on this particular stock. And after that, uh, two candles are closing above the breakout zone. So indicating that this is a good level of breakout as well. So from the uh, you know, support and resistance perspective, the stock has already given a breakout. And from here, I'm expecting the stock to come down and retest this breakout zone. So the current market price of the stock is 257 rupees per share. So I'm expecting the stock to come down and retest till 235. So 235 is going to be my best buying zone for uh, United Drilling Tools. And my investment strategy once again over here is going to be buy and dips till 235. But this is not the only pattern that I see over here. I also see an inverted head and shoulder pattern. So if you look over here, this particular stock is also forming a inverted head and shoulder pattern so this is an inverted head and shoulder pattern that i see in united drilling tools and as such inverted head and shoulder pattern is also a trend reversal pattern and we can see the trend reversal that is happening last week so as on last week wednesday we have a clear cut breakout proving that the inverted head and shoulder pattern is completed and it is going to give its it is going to move towards its target okay so my entry price is going to be buying digital 235 and coming to the target my first target is going to be 280. This is going to be my first target. And my second target is going to be 340. This is going to be my second target. And my final target is going to be 400. So over here. So these are the three targets what we are freezing for United Drilling Tools. Right. And if you look at the returns perspective from the breast buying zone of 235, I'm looking at a returns of almost 70%. So 69.68. So let's round it up to as 70 just for sake. So 70 percentage returns is the maximum returns what I'm expecting from United Drilling Tools. Not the maximum returns. It is a target what you are freezing. And once our final target is done, we can expect a returns of almost 70 percentage. But the United uh, Drilling Tools may not stop at 400. It can go beyond 600 and can reach 1000 as well. But that is on the long term perspective. We are not going to invest in this particular stock for more than one year. So it's going to be a short term investment. And the maximum holding period is going to be for a period of six months. So just within a period of six months, I'm looking at a returns of almost 70 percentage. So if you are calculating the average returns on a monthly basis, it will be coming somewhere around 11 to 12 percentage. So 12 percentage return on investment on a monthly basis. It's a really good returns and that too for a small cap industry 
which has a good market holding that almost 70 percentage of the market share is being held by united drilling tools so i'm almost 80 to 90 percent confident that this particular stock can give a target of 400 for the coming few weeks okay so this is on the target let me move it over here and coming to my stop loss so my entry price is going to be somewhere around 235 my stop loss it's going to be below this previous low so this was a previous low of united drilling tools i'm going to keep my stop loss somewhere around 200 to be on the safer side and once my final target is done i'm looking at a risk code of 1 is to 4.7 so for a risk of one point my reward is going to be 4.7 points right let's round it up to five so for risk of one point my reward is going to be five points so overall the stop loss over here is going to be 35 points but my target over here is going to be 165 points so it's a risk code of one is to you know uh, five and that's a pretty good risk reward ratio so normally a minimum risk reward ratio what we'll be keeping is going to be one is to 1.5 but in this case it's going to be 1 is to 5 because it's a good stock and I believe the targets are almost 80 to 90 percentage the targets is achievable so that is what I feel from the fundamentals and looking at the technicals of this particular stock all right then guys so that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on United Drilling Tools I hope this video was useful and I hope you learned some informative things from this video and as usual if you like my analysis please do click on the like button and if you want to support our channel please do consider subscribing to our channel as well I'll see you guys in the next video for another exciting stock prediction till then it's bye from Chris take care bye bye and thank you for watching